Hello! In this video, we will show you how to use and care for your HemaPrep device. Make sure you are following your laboratory guidelines for good laboratory practice on how to handle blood tubes and blood smears. Before you start using your HemaPrep, be sure to press and release the plunger to make sure the spreader blades are aligned. Each day before use, look inside the spreader arms and check that the weights are attached correctly. When finished, press and release the plunger to align the spreader blades. Place two slides in the slide holder with the frosted end up and towards the front of the device. If you only need to make one smear, still add a blank slide as a counter slide. Mix the tube and then use a blood dispenser or a pipette to place five to six microliters of blood at the top of the black dot. Press down firmly on the plunger so that the spreader blade makes contact with the blood. Hold the plunger down for a little over one second, or the time it takes to say 1001. Release the plunger all at once, and the spreader glass will spread the blood. It is very important that you hold the plunger down just for a long second. If you hold it too long, blood will wick on the opposite side of the spreader blade, and too much blood will be taken down the slide, which gives a suboptimal monolayer. Remove the slides and let them dry completely before staining. To clean the spreader blades, lift the spreader arms and wipe gently with water. Let it dry and then put the spreader arms back. Press and release the plunger once to make sure that the arms are seated correctly. The device comes with a preset smear length. During installation, you might need to adjust this according to your altitude. If a particular smear is too short or too long, you can make a change here, but never turn the knob more than a quarter of a turn, or 90 degrees. When needed, you can replace the spreader blades. Signs that the spreader blades are starting to wear are crooked smears or streaks in the smears. Check the instructions for use on how to do this correctly. Thanks for watching. You can find more information in the instructions for use.